Hey guys, it's me, 80 Storm Before. Today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Gambia 1, Guinea New. Guys, I have to say that this is one of the biggest shocks in AFCON history. And we just have to take a moment here because I wasn't actually planning to do this video, but I feel like it, it was not fair I didn't do this video. Gambia, you have to give them a round of applause. Coming into this tournament, they were the lowest ranked team, 150th place. Now they'll be facing the host nation, Cameroon and the quarterfinals, and I have to say, this was a remarkable achievement for Gambia in particular. The fact that they came second in the group behind the likes, be, uh, beating the likes of Tunisia, Mauritania, getting a draw against Mali is really impressive, and I've been very impressed with Gambia team. They have been one of the best teams ever. This is, I believe, the first AFCON ever in their history, and the fact that they're already here in the quarterfinals is quite astonishing. You know, who would have thought they would have made the quarterfinals? You know, and I predicted this, by the way. In my predictions video, by the way, guys, I had them beating Guinea. I had them beating Guinea. And you have to give it up to them. You have to give it up to them. Musa Baro, what a player he is. He's been amazing in the tournament. And like I said, man, I mean, Guinea, yeah, they had a few chances right at the end. You know, they had an equalized ruled off for offside. I know they hit the post and everything like that. But Gambia, for me, you got to give them credit. Defensively, they were solid at the back. And even attacking wise, they were good. And you know, and like I said before, guys, they they got the job done. It was a very cagey game, which I expected, you know. And like I said before, for um, Gambia in particular, they really deserved this win. And you got to give it up to them. Got to give it up to them because they absolutely played their hearts and skins out for this match. And like I said before, guys, this is a video. This is a moment for them to congratulate because I have to congratulate this team right here. The fact they're in the quarterfinals against the host nation Cameroon is incredible. You know, and given how Cameroon played against Comoros earlier today, I'm not, I wasn't impressed with Cameroon. I wasn't impressed. Comoros, for me, actually played better. Comoros actually had the better game in the game. You know, they had more chances, more opportunities, but Cameroon was just clinical in the day. And given how Cameroon have been all over the place defensively, and they haven't been able to keep a clean sheet at all, I think Gambia, this could be the real moment for them to actually make a semifinals which is something that I didn't even expect to say. So, you know, like I said, for uh, Gambia, man, got to give them a ton of our props, you know. Amazing achievement indeed. Now, unfortunately, they will have one player that will not be available for the quarterfinal fixture, which is, of course, as you guys know, it is going to be um, Yus Yusufa Ninj. Um, but, you know, like I said before, guys, I think this Gambia team, they're showing potential, they're showing promise. And at this point, guys, I think they've already exceeded expectations. The fact that they're in the quarterfinals is just already amazing enough. And if they could even manage to reach the semis, it would even be better to cap it off. You know, they got to give it up to the Baro man. Bro, 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 you know, Moto Baro. And of course, I've got to give it up to, um, you know, Musa Baro, man. I mean, what a tournament these guys are having. I mean, the fact they've been this insane in the AFCON has been crazy. And I honestly genuinely believe that over the summer, guys, we're going to see them make a big move. We're going to see them make a big move this summer to some of the big Italian teams. Like, I could see them maybe making a move to Napoli, for instance. Maybe Roma, for instance. Lazio. Maybe not Inter. I think that might be a bit too step. But the point being is that they're played so well. And I got to give it up to them. I got to give it up to them. And I cannot believe they're in the quarterfinals. I just cannot believe it. It's so crazy for us to think that they're in the quarterfinals. And, you know, with this team that they have here, man, is just insane. So... Like I said, for Gambia, man, you got to give it up to them. You got to give it up to them. And like I said before, guys, right now, guys, they have, it's everything to play for at this moment. So got to give it up to Gambia, man. Um, I wanted to give a huge shout out to their manager. Let me see who their manager is right now. You know, a man, I mean, this guy, I mean, Tom Sandfoot. He's done a great job with this team. You may look, let's look at how long he stayed at Gambia. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see his managerial record. This, he's actually taken charge since July, 2018. There's not even statistics for him on here. And wow, wow, do you even know this, guys? He actually coached Bangladesh. You know, and I don't know if you guys know this. My parents are actually from Bangladesh. So I find that very, very interesting indeed that he even coached, you know, and like the fact that he's doing so well with this team is quite remarkable. And it's so sad that the Wikipedia page doesn't even have the managerial statistic, which is I find very, very disgraceful. But, you know, it is what it is. And like I said before, guys, he's done a great job with this team. And, and for Gambia in particular, man, I got to give it up to them. got to give it up to them. He's done it. They've done an incredible job indeed. And I've been really impressed. I've been really, really impressed with what they've do been doing. And I, I hope they can continue this, man. I hope they can continue this. I will discuss more about this in my um, 
live stream, which I'm going to have on Wednesday, tomorrow, guys. And I just feel like even though I, w I wanted to do a round of 16 overall match review and everything, which I will, which will do live tomorrow live stream, I just needed to do this video just specifically for Gambi because of this astonishing accomplishment indeed. So, you know, like I said before, guys, if you're new around here to the channel, I recommend you subscribe button down below. I'm going to be covering this Africa Cup of Nations. Guys, this has been an amazing Africa Cup of Nations with upsets all over the place with Tunisia, Nigeria being eliminated, Ivory Coast, I mean, not an Ivory Coast, Ghana being eliminated, Algeria being eliminated, you know, Guinea being eliminated. I mean, it's just went crazy, guys. And this AFCON continues to deliver, man. I think, guys, this might seem crazy to say this, but I honestly genuinely think that AFCON might actually be the best regional tournament. I genuinely think it might actually be the best regional tournament. And I'm not joking here when I'm saying this. I'm literally not joking here because of how unpredictable it is and how insane it is. So like I said before, guys, if you're new around here, I recommend you subscribe button down below. Like this video as well. Comment down below your thoughts. And I want you guys to share this video with your friends because this is a video that you need to share to your Gambian friends. And if you're from Gambia in particular, please let me in the comments section below. I would love to see what you guys feel about this win because like I said before, guys, huge, huge win, man. You know? So make sure you guys also check out me my other platforms. You guys will find my Discord server. You guys will find my Twitter. You guys will find my... um. Uh, youtube page as well and everything like that email address as well everything else to contact me on the other platforms and yeah man i really do appreciate it. so i'll see you guys later man peace out